Hello, I'm Rick Crypto. Thank you for joining us on Crypto Overwatch. Uh, today we're going to be going through some of the top news that's going on in the cryptocurrency sector. And there's not too much going on. Been pretty slow during this bear market today. But let's get into it. This is kind of a telling sign of where the, the market is as a whole right now. And the top trending is Terra Classic and Celsius. Come on, I. Th this is scary. Um, this could be, you know, if you're doing some shorts or whatever. I mean, kudos to you. But we have uh, Bitcoin 21. It's a good green day. You know, up almost four percent, hanging out at 3.3 at 21,000. We have ETH. You know, a trailing, still holding strong to that 1K at 1100. But having a real powerhouse day up 6% on the day, you know, for a seven day, most of those gains were all today. And now uh, let's kind of transition into what's going on in the news right now. So this is for all my football friends and people that I know. We have Binance adding to their celebrity and, you know, their... Their marketing team it must be doing some big things. Uh, I don't know if you saw, I guess it was a couple weeks ago, they just added The weekend as they're, they're going to be supporting his new um, tour. So having their own NFT. I don't know if The weekend is really into NFTs or not, but you know, trying to really boost up that celebrity endorsements with Christian Ronaldo to sign exclusive NFT partnership with Binance. So, pretty exciting stuff there. Uh, let's see what Ronaldo has to say. Uh, my relationship with the fans is very important to me, so the idea of bringing unprecedented experience and access through this NFT platform is something that I wanted to be a part of. I know the fans are going to enjoy the collection as much as I do. So I'm a huge fan of their owner, CZ. Uh, currently, I can't use Binance. I'm based out of Texas, and Texas has said no go. We're making some other great strides within cryptocurrency, but they still haven't opened up Binance to us. And next, trending topic here. And man, Russia has been all over the news this month. They are pushing crypto hard. So in this uh, news article, we have Vladimir Putin slams Western monetary policy, predicts global shift to commodity reserves. So he could be kind of going along with, you know, with the El Salvador thoughts of, you know, just really stacking, but they're making, they're taking over mining. They are using a lot of their coal factories to really push the mining um, narrative. So nothing too much really going on here. Just this is a really key point right here. Uh, last March, Russia's bank were expelled from SWIFT, the world's largest financial messaging system used by you know, 11 million. So obviously they were expelled. Then they had the, the ruble collapse. Um, and he, of course, he says America is a money printing problem. Uh, but what does this mean for Bitcoin? Uh, this, I thought this was very interesting. Legacy investor fund manager Bill Miller states in March that the Russia rubles collapse will be bullish for Bitcoin. These macro effects really are going to take a long time. Like this could be, this could play out maybe in two years. So for the day traders out there, this may not be anything significant. But long term hodlers, you know. Definitely keep Russia front of mind. They're going to be on the on the map whether we like it or not. So to take a break from the news, jump over to the Crypto Fear Index. It hasn't changed at all. We're still at 11. Um, you can see uh, last week we dropped all the way down to 9. Um, but I just wanted to bring this up. This is the year. And you can see all the way back from April of 2020 was a high of 60 and we've come all the way down to 11 that that market sentiment is so bad in crypto right now and you can see we had a high 
back in 2021 of 75. So just a few months before that, we were all the way down at a 27. So it ebbs and flows. Once this thing starts you know, giddy up and uh, we, we should get some good momentum back in the market. But jump back into the news, the last one. This is just such a debacle of a story. I can't, this makes me sad. So sad. Shattering crypto adoption barrier. Solana Labs to launch its own Web3 Android smartphone. What? You can't even get your platform to stay on for a month straight, and now you want to come out into products. It just doesn't make sense. It just seems like they're trying to be in your face all the time. I, I, I don't get it, Solana. I mean, we can go back. What were they sitting at currently? I bet, it was, are they still like at 35? Yeah, 38. So they've had a good, maybe this news with the smartphone had a good balance, but I just, I don't see it, Solana. Make, make me see what, why, why you're a good product in, in the crypto space. So if you're a Solana fan, drop a comment and let me know. I don't, I don't understand Solana's mission. I, I don't. As always, like, subscribe, and give me a follow. Definitely help out, support this channel. Give me the motivation to keep coming out here and doing this. This is what I love. Uh, this crypto sector has just been a really exciting journey. Um, so, as always, until next time, I'm Rick Crypto. See you later.